So I want to make a habit of doing an update every day on these plants and see exactly how far and how fast they grow. So here is day one. As you can see, nothing's happened. Although it looks like something got poked in there. And a few of these look like they've been disturbed. So yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. But, oh, I think that's from when I tested the water. Speaking of water, looks like this one's full. Definitely looks like it's going down a little bit, slowly. Speaking of water going down slowly, you can see the tank here, you can see all the way to the bottom. And I don't know if you can see the fish in there with the... Yeah, you can kind of see them. So the water is definitely getting clearer, which is awesome. And I need to add some more water. I, I really like how big some of those fish are though. It's amazing. I wish I could just catch one and show you guys, but it's, it's pretty hard to catch these guys. <laughs> They're small, there's a lot of things in the tank, and uh, yeah, because I got, what do I have, I think six pumps in the tank right now. And for these plants, I added some uh, lacewig, oh, there's a bunch of little black dots on this leaf. I had a bunch of lacewig things underneath there. Um, so hopefully they will eat whatever. Wow, there's a lot of black dots all over here. I don't know if that's the lace wigs or if that's something else. Let me see if I can show you here. Look at that. I don't know what those are. I'm going to have to find out. But these leaves are definitely getting huge. This is just going nuts. This is going to crowd out one of the other ones. Uh, this is taking root. This little one right there is taking root. There was another one over here somewhere. I don't see it anymore. I don't know if it fell down, if it got... Oh, there's one. Right there. The potato looks like it's been partially unburied. That's probably not good. Oh, this looks like it's coming back. And that one too, and that one's getting eaten, but it looks like it's coming back. So these three are coming back. Great, that's great. But man, whatever is eating that thing is just tearing it up. And now it's going after this one. I'm not gonna have any food. Whatever I'm feeding is just going to eat it all and not share any. Code enforcement's giving the neighbor a hard time over some of the grass, so went and cut up a lot of it. I'm going to add all of this and all of that over there, down there, and that too, to the uh, mulch pile. Pretty good, dude. Wow. Uh oh. Oh, it's all wet. Yeah. That thing's not bad, man. It's those double, those double. Uh, you gotta go. You gotta ride it like on the two wheels in the back and a forty-five. While pulling weeds, FYI, this is very sharp. Don't let it poke you in your arm. It hurts. What is it? I don't know if it's allowed here, but this is the kind of fence I like. I think it looks pretty with all the vines. So Angie had a pumpkin underneath the vines on the other side of the fence. So, yeah, that's interesting. So I was just reading up on these eggs, and it basically said just pull the plant. If it's because it's probably spider mites. And I'm actually wondering 
I'm going to pull this plant and just consider it to be infected. I'm pulling this one too. I don't know if you can see it, but I, I see it right there. I'm just going to pull this whole plant. Uh, maybe that one too. And then the rest of them might be able to recover here. Oh, and the cycle's starting. So I measured it earlier, but I put 10 milliliters of this in this. Uh, it should have been 25 milliliters, so I basically doubled it. But I'm going to put this in the tank. But I also added the air bubble in there, and I did that to let the water kind of circulate for a while. So I'll test it again later. Yep, I was going through here with an edger and using it as like a trimmer. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice and chopped up now. All right, so it was 8.17 before I added the stuff. Now it is 7.76. So I added 10 milliliters to about 45 gallons. So, yep, I'm going to put this in the tank, and uh, that should lower it a little bit. And then I guess I'll just keep adding a little bit every day. That's kind of a big jump, but the fish are not in this tank. And when you once you dilute this with all that water, it should be fine. Actually, I'm going to drain it slowly here, too. I'm not just going to have it dump too fast. And it looks like when I filled this with water, it compressed this a little bit, so this is bumped up a little bit. I might have to get the third pad. <laughs> we'll see. I don't... I haven't caught this running in a while, but... Yeah, oh, this poor guy. Put it, oh, that's all nice. That's all squishy. that one a little bit too so it just finished running so this is the uh it's probably a good indication of what oh wow that is very squishy right there so it is very sad without these plants being here actually you know what i should do is i can Probably just flatten this out a little bit. Put these right here. Yeah, try that. So I moved a few of them around a little bit there. I should probably move some of these. There we go. See how that works but i think this right here is just a little bit too watery 